This is Justin with Tac2 Weapons here for the Second Amendment, and this is Richard. Today we're going to be showing you how to tear down the Cobra Mac 11 9mm. But I'm going to show you this real quick. A subscriber was wanting to know how the rear part of the gun has a sling mount on it. It's just a simple swivel uh, pin, and it's got this style like clamp here. It's got like this like tension tab yeah. it just loops through and it snaps in that's how it comes off same thing with the front yeah this front same way and if this has got what they call a snap ring on it and you take the snap ring off and the whole sling will come off the front but there's no point in that but here's the tear down of the cobra you need a tab or something to help push this thing in. Yeah, you gotta push this pin out on the front end of the Cobra, which is hard to do with your fingers. So well, you just slid on me. Using you a wire. Pull it out like that. Right, That's what that, that piece well looks like. Not. And then the pin will pull out like this. And then you pull the weapon up like this and then pull it out. You want to look at the inside of this thing? Yeah, I want to show them that. The rear pin has what they call an ear clamp on it and it snaps in back air and that holds your whole sling swivel in the back and it's got a washer underneath of that. Yeah. You could probably get them things off the internet. Only thing you have to do is look for a swivel sling for attachment for like a a gun, and it's just a simple little swivel thing yeah. with a hole in it. And on the rear of it, it has a notch like a revolver sight, and there's a hole down here for like a peep sight for the weapon. But the thing of it is, once you have that disassembled that far, you pull the bolt back. Pull the cocking handle out, and then a the bolt will come clear out of the gun, and then it's just simply wiping it down and cleaning everything in the barrel like that. And then the bolt has a very stout spring on it. And, and I think you really need to clean here, and this would be the whole, this whole area, and then just and clean up the feed ramp part in here real good. And any further tear down probably wouldn't be necessary other than cleaning that like that. But basically you put it right back together. Find your hole for the bolt handle. And then since the hammer's back all the way, it'll go in and you can reassemble it easily like that. Where's my pin at? Right there. Oh, 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 I'm gonna drop it. That pin will go in from either side. For you guys that are wondering. Yeah, there it went in. Then you gotta take and hold the pin on this side. And to that keep will... it from backing out when you click it in. But it's cocked. And just insert your mag and you're ready to rock and roll. And that's what it looks like when it's put back together. Yep. And just a function test that's how it should be if you don't pull that tab back you won't have no trigger pretty much it'll just be like a dead trigger it won't fire or nothing I've had this gun long enough where the Cobra emblem is fading a right way on the sling but other than that it's been a pretty good gun Oh, we didn't get it hooked in there. There we went. But that's the Cobra Mac 11 9mm tear down and a couple other things that we showed you guys and you guys were wanting to know. But and this is how you go out on town for the night. <laughs> Not kid, just kidding. But comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned and we're going to have more videos for you guys coming up. And we're going to do another bottle blast and let you guys see that. But make sure you stay tuned. 
and we'll see you guys later and thanks for watching and i'm going to show you guys the gun up close check that out